Welcome to another dog vlog! Dog, dog, dog vlog! <laughs> Today's video, we're gonna talk about grooming your puppy! If you're new here, click that subscribe button down below. It truly, it, it, it means the world. Let's get into this grooming tip video right now. Do all dogs require grooming? All dogs required maintenance and, and making sure that they're clean and um, taken care of, like nail trimming, etc. but not all dogs require as much brush and combing as this guy does and will. I wanted to share some things that I have done that have worked for me personally to help get Finnegan, my adopted rescue puppy, used to being groomed because quite honestly, he didn't love the brush right away. Uh, he still doesn't love, love it. But let's, I know I shouldn't have put food in my hand. Um, but before I get into it, let me explain why this is so important. If you have a dog that's gonna need grooming, basically any medium long haired coated dog or curly haired coated dog, it's so important to get them started right away getting used to it because they're gonna have to be groomed and you don't want them to be in a position where they're gonna be covered in mats when they're older and hate being brushed. And quite honestly, it's been a really good bonding experience with us. So I actually enjoy the brushing. When I train Finnegan, a lot of times I'll just use toys or, or play as his reward, but sometimes I will use his, his kibble. Um, and that's what I, I feed him. I don't typically use soft treats or cheese and peanut butter unless I'm in a highly distracted area like, like a dog training class or at the park or something. But in the house, um, using you know reward by playing or, or just telling him good boy or his actual kibble, like this is just part of his breakfast that has worked out really, really well for us. All I did to start off is just show him the brush, here. Doot, 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 doot. I know, I made the mistake of having the kibble, but we can't go back. We can't go back, yes. And as soon as he kind of acknowledges it, but doesn't shy away from it, not afraid of the, the bristles, then yes. That's when I reward with my marker word. Again, my marker word is Y-E, yes. Um, it's similar to a clicker, re clicker response if, if you do clicker training. Essentially, the first step is letting him see the brush and that it's not scary and then reward. Every time the brush came out and comes out, I rewarded like crazy because like I said, when I first tried to use the brush on him, just straight up brushing him, he was, oh, what is this? What is that weird sensation? Now that your dog's not afraid of the brush itself, I use treats and I reward with just a couple light strokes. That's it. Yes, good job. Couple light strokes. I wouldn't start on their face right away because that can be really intimidating at first. Just a couple, and then they learn very quickly, yes. They learn very quickly that, okay, being brushed is not that scary, not a big deal, right? And what you'll do over time and over days is progress to more. More frequent brushing, longer stroke um, repetition, so you know three, four strokes in a row, and you constantly reward in the beginning. I'm to the point now where I can just kind of brush him and it's, he doesn't mind it. This is gonna be so important as he gets older because he's gonna have to be brushed pretty much every day of his life. Getting your dog used to being brushed is, is fairly easy. Some dogs won't mind at all and some dogs will love it. Others, it may take a while. He took a few days, it, you know, he was like, what is this? I am not comfortable with that and, and that's okay. I just took it very slow, used a lot of praise and positive reinforcement and kibble. <laughs> As you can see, he's super food motivated. If you have any tips on brushing your dog or combing your dog or even the best brushes that you guys recommend, comment down below because I'm curious. This is just a basic one that I got that the bristles are kind of soft so I didn't feel like it would hurt his skin. Um, so I thought it would be a good one to start with, but I'm open to suggestions. We have uh, several new subscribers over the last few weeks, and I want to thank you for being part of our mission to save all the damn rescue dogs. As you know, I adopted Finnegan through iDog Rescue, and my mission is to bring awareness to the importance of fostering and rescuing and adopting. With Finnegan being a new puppy, and I'm working with him so much on obedience and, and training, I may I might make this kind of tip or these like tip and hack videos a little series. Let me know if you'd be interested in that as well. Um, I, I like making these videos. Again, I, I'm not a professionally trained dog trainer, whatever. I have personal experience and these are my opinions, use at your own risk. Uh, but 
I, 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 I don't know, I'm having fun with them, so let me know what you think. Um, Alright guys, I'm gonna head off because somebody is circling around the door, which means he may need to go potty, and if you do need a potty training video, here's some tips up here. Are you ready to say goodbye? Are you ready? You little Finny. He is always on the move, but that's a little a little puppy for you. Um, you can follow his daily updates on his Instagram, at Finnegan Fasaro. I'll link it right here if you are interested to see what he's up to on the daily. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for your love. It means everything. Mm -hmm.